Have we already seen the strongest Lorenzo ever, or is there any room for further improvement? Oh, it's a very hard question. I cannot really look into the future, but uh, last year Jorge was very strong, and I have only seen him growing the last three years. So uh, to do better than last year will be very, very difficult because he only become first and second, and the competition is getting only stronger. But uh, I will be very happy if he. Uh, keeps this level uh, the next uh, two years at least. In 2011, Jorge experienced the pressure of being the reigning world champion. Do you think he will start the season with a different approach this year? No, I don't think so. Uh, he was also very strong in 2011, but uh, we didn't have the package then to repeat the championship again. And in uh, 12 we were. so. Uh, He's not happy with just two titles, so uh, I'm sure he wants to uh, uh, push for more and he was willing to uh, win more. But uh, I think he's even more focused than he was in 11. What are your predictions and expectations for the coming season? Ooh, it's, uh, will be a very tough season, uh, especially uh, because Vale is back, but also a young Spanish rider, Marc Marquez, is, is back. In, uh, in MotoGP actually for the first time, but uh, you can feel that, uh, yeah, that those three Spaniards together is, is, is like, uh, you know, something's going to happen. And uh, I think it will be a fantastic season, but uh, I think uh, each of those three riders uh, will make mistakes. And uh, it depends a little bit in, in which procedure, so it can be positive or negative for us. But uh, yeah, those boys are willing to do everything to win and not only that but they are very bad losers <laughs> so uh, a second place is not in their uh, you know uh, yeah predictions so uh, yeah i i see uh, uh, a good season coming up where do jorge's strongest points come from i think first of all his skill to um, feel the tire limit under every circumstances uh, wet or dry or intermediate, every racetrack. And I think that's uh, main or priority number one. But also his concentration is, is, uh, is very high and he can really focus uh, for the race. Do you think Valentina's return to Yamaha will make Jorge stronger? For sure not weaker. That's, uh, I think, uh, when you have a very strong uh, teammate, it only um, makes you better. But, of course, uh, you know, it, it's still a competition and uh, those boys are uh, riding together. If Vale is on a Ducati or on a Honda or on a Yamaha, Jorge wants to beat him. And it's the opposite way, it's exactly the same. So, um, I, I cannot uh, be 100% sure, but I think it makes him even stronger. In Sepang, Jorge's lap times were incredibly consistent. Do you think this is going to be the key for this year's challenge? Consistency is important, but uh, yeah, if you are consistent too slow, that's also not good. So, um, first of all, you need to have the speed everywhere, and then to be even consistent with the best speed uh, out there, of course, then you are, have, a, uh, yeah, have all the possibilities uh, to, to have the championship again. But that combination is uh, very difficult to reach, and... Uh, yeah, let's see. Which are the toughest circuits for Yamaha this season? The toughest circuits, I would say Aragon is uh, not our favorite track, especially uh, for Yamaha, some way, somehow. We, we have uh, some issues always there and uh, some lack of grip, etc. And for Jorge himself, I would say uh, Indianapolis. It's one of the yeah, non-favorite tracks, if I have to name one. For Jorge, it will be Indianapolis, and for Yamaha, maybe Aragon. Where do you think the Yamaha Wazedar M1 has the potential to make the difference? I think um, the Yamaha has the total package, and um, we don't have maybe the best accelerating bike. This is also an area where we always are working on, but we have always uh, controllable power delivery. And our bike is uh, very un easy to understand for every rider, so you can find easily the limits. Uh, and uh, that's uh, 
over 18 races, uh, very important. Bridgestone have developed new tyres this season. What's your feedback on them? Yeah, they make a small step forwards and uh, it's for everybody the same, so we can, uh, the pace uh, over the race will be uh, a little bit faster, especially uh, we will not see uh, the, the cold tyre crashes uh, anymore. So for the rookie riders this is very important, especially uh, the young boys who are coming from other classes and from other tyres than Bridgestone. Um, they had always had some problems by uh, warming up the tyres and uh, they crashed quite uh, uh, yeah, soon. As soon as they jumped on a MotoGP bike, they, uh, they, uh, yeah, they get penalised because uh, they uh, forgot to heat up the tyres. How helpful is it to Jorge to have you watching his riding by the side of the track? I think it's, uh, he feels himself very comfortable with uh, somebody out there. So uh, when he doubts and uh, when I see uh, different lines from other riders or uh, different gear uh, strategies, then uh, he's always uh, uh, trying to ask me and um, you know, he wants to have some feedback from uh, somebody who has been on a bike and who is uh, able to explain him what I see. And I think it's, uh, it's very comfortable for him to, to verify his, his feelings and uh, also when I see something what he doesn't know, that, uh, that, that makes him uh, aware of, of the season and of the weekend, what, uh, what he has to focus on. And I think uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, one of the special things uh, we have together.